underrated players in the league last two last two years led the league in hits so uh, let's start with the bat uh, bat I've been swinging old hickory um, same style same model now uh -huh. for shoot I guess about five years um, old hickory has been great to me from the time I was in the minor league so uh, stuck with those guys and I've, my kind of motto is if it's good enough for trout, it's good enough for me. Yeah, and, and is uh, what's what's the model that you're using? It's my own model. It's a WM5 model. It's kind of a um, uh, it's customization of off a old P89 Louisville Slugger bat. Uh, that's what my dad swung when he played. Oh yeah. And um, took that bat, sent it to Old Hickory, and made it a little couple adjustments, made the barrel a little smaller, uh, but. Did your dad, uh, I mean, obviously growing up, he was a ball player too, so did he kind of get you into hitting wood early? Uh, no, because I wasn't good enough to. I wasn't strong enough to. I didn't really start hitting wood until I got to college, and then uh, even then, just in the summer, I'd hit wood. So probably should have done it at a younger age, but I didn't. I, I've heard maple was the hardest wood, so I just kind of swung that. I'm not uber particular about the bat, the maple, birch, ash. I know a lot of guys get super into it. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's uh, there's a an old adage that it's it's the it's the Indian, not the arrow. You know. So if if, if I can hold it and it'll hit a baseball, I'll, I usually have no that problem. That looks with it. super smooth. It's like the almost like a different finish on it. Is that always how it looks? It looks gorgeous. Uh, I've done this finish for a while it's an unfinished handle with a matte black matte black barrel. I see that's what it is so it looks sweet except uh, the matte black kind of uh, ball the, the uh, ball markings show up pretty pretty well in the matte black but well hopefully right on the barrel yeah so um, that's the goal. how about the uh, the glove what do you uh, wear for a glove uh, my glove is I wear Rawlings uh, these two are that my, like an outfield my infield outfield glove. Uh, same style. I've got a couple of different styles, but this is kind of the go-to, the gold gold binding um, with the blue laces. Nice. Black glove. I've, I've always worn a black glove. Sick. Uh, I love the gold. Yeah, the gold looks good. So I've always used the DJ2 um, oh, yeah? for the infield glove because I grew up a big Jeter fan. That's, yeah. why I, that's why I wear a black glove as well because he always wore a black glove. Yeah, uh, and, um, yeah. The outfield glove, I don't know. It's a uh, 6JB Pro. Yeah, that's the Pro 303. That's that's like the st outfield standard yeah. for uh, for Rawlings for sure. Any any uh, reason why you choose that iWeb? Um, no, it's it's just kind of what I've always gone with. Like I said, I'm not. I've never been one to put too much focus or emphasis on why certain things are better than others. If it'll catch the ball, I'll wear it. Yeah, yeah. I did go up to a 13-inch Alpha Glove this year. Oh yeah. Um, what for? Which is uh, Alex Gordon recommendation. Uh, that's He's a good guy to take advice yeah. from. Seven gold gloves. So. Yeah, that's a good guy. How about your uh, your cleats? Cleats. Yeah. Uh, I've been a, an Adidas guy for the last couple of years. Uh, those are dirty. Shut the white ones off. <laughs> um, yeah, Sweet. been with Adidas the last couple of years. Love Adidas. Uh, these are what we call the fast guy cleats. Yep. They got, I think Dojo over here has got the uh, the heavier ones, but these are great, super light, uh, look great, feel great, so. Awesome, how about the, I, I see you've been wearing this G-form uh, elbow guard. It looks a little different than what I'm used to seeing. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Just like, how's it feel? And, and, and do, you, do you like it, obviously? Yeah, it's, um, I got out of the bag. Show you how much I've used them so far this year. Yeah, I guess you don't need them just yet. No, not quite yet. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're a good company. Been around for a couple years now, and uh, approached me a couple years ago about wearing their stuff, and um, came out with this strap elbow guard couple, uh, last year, I think, uh -huh. and I liked it a lot better. And um, yeah, it's been good. It's different. It, Compared to the it Evo, kind of forms a little bit, and. Uh, it's a more com comfortable fit. So. All right, I got one more question for you. It's going to be a layup. It's from uh, 
It's from a, a fan. It's from Chris T. Doyle. What is your favorite baseball memory? Favorite baseball memory was uh, hitting a walk-off hit in the College World Series in yeah. 2010. Well, still trumps any pro ball memory that I've had, but hopefully get to a World Series. And what was he doing throwing better. you a strike right there? <laughs> uh, he wanted to, he wanted to uh, pitch to me and not two guys behind me, so yeah. I'll take it.